Okay, I'm going to read aloud my Galaxy Note 3 notes. I took it very early this morning, around 3.30am uh, to 5.30am. I love using my S Note app for writing things down with my stylus. I'm also attempting to read all this too, so as to have more of a script and structure to my vlogs. Um, so, on to the topic. Everyone is an artist. Everyone's an artist. Almost four years ago, a friend of mine asked, do you like art? He was trying to make me see the art all around. I believe, I believe. <laughs> he assured me that although I didn't consider myself an artist, singing is art. Boy, do I enjoy singing. From that point forward, I started to almost believe that if I had an outlet to express myself as an artist, singing slash my voice would be my thing. However, when I sing or rap, I do my best to mimic, and although I hardly have a voice to call my own, it is still my art. After all, some make a living in cover bands or as impersonators. I tend to live by quotes and sentiments of others, if something in them resonates with my accumulated philosophies. I guess in that way, mimicry remains a crucial part of my art. Perhaps many of you would not choose to expand the de definition of art to mean the whole of living itself, or living according to yourself. But in writing this, you see, this is one of my arts, writing. Aside from academically, I rarely write with any form of structure or discipline. This is one of my few and extremely recent attempts at changing that. I at least must focus on grammar and a topic. And well, I believe it's all art. I strive to be decent. Something that I am exceptional at above most others is being kind and decent, even and especially when it isn't deserved. Maybe they have no shred of decency themselves. In those cases, I make it my job to bite my tongue, find the goodness, and be the bigger man. Yeah, I know, bragging about it kind of defeats the purpose of being a good person, but I'm merely expressing what I observe in myself. I express myself. So yes, I do this. It's been a long time coming. Writing used to be a somewhat p personal outlet, aside from the fact that I wrote 10-page letters. Remember those? <laughs> to most everyone I knew in middle school and high school. I was shy. I'm mostly not shy now, especially if I'm given the opportunity to verbally express myself. Hand writing and mimicry. Hand is uh, in parentheses. <laughs> right now, you're looking at one of my more simplified fonts, style of handwriting. Styles of handwriting. My letters change frequently. This eclectic collection of writing styles I have is definitely inspired and derived from others who have written me letters, combined with a dash of my own creativity. Yes, I have some of that, despite my mimicking tendencies. Mimicry equals flattery? I apologize that I speak so much about myself, but here are other things I notice within myself. If mimicry is the highest form of flattery, as the saying goes, I enjoy flattering. It's another one of my arts that will hopefully lead to a masterpiece in the future. I believe our personal traits, when expressed, equals art. Flattery continued. I get creative with my compliments. In that way, am I molding my world like a sculptor or architect, albeit simply mentally and verbally? Sorry, side note, I don't know how to pronounce albeit. Albeit, I like the word, like I like to write it, but I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll look that up later, guys. Okay, so back. So, I'll bait simply, mentally, and verbally. An arrogant, blatantly rude person may be shocked to hear how many compliments I have for them. I may call them confident, opinionated, or at worst, beneficial to my learning about people and their behaviors. I even make traits of theirs. So here's the last page, page 10. <clears throat> and I'm, am I able to cut this short? In parentheses, I write excessively. <laughs> so questions for you. One, what natural traits do you have that you can't deny? Two, 
Have you felt you've wasted time being yourself, not knowing your consistent habits may one day turn into positive expression? Three, how do you artistically express yourself? Words, sounds, drawings, 